Wow, welcome everyone. Today I have a special patch 1.4 Zenus Zero Character's Guide. So in this video, we'll be looking at Minabi and also we'll be looking at Haramasa. Is it Haramasa? <laughs> and of course, guys, I have prepared a lot of notes related to different team comps for Minabi and also Harumasa. And here you can see the list of characters and also things we'll go through. We also have written guides for Manabi and also the speculation on her element and also on her abilities. So this will be quite interesting and we'll be covering this on the first part. So coming over to the latest official information of the teasers for 1.4 characters. You might have known or you might not have known, this will be Minabi and also this will be Haru Masa. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm hoping I got the name right. So yes, Minabi is likely going to be a questionable anomaly character because let's have a look at this particular screenshot from the Twitter. So people are wondering, is she really going to be Ice character? And what is this particular symbol? So the first part of the video will focus on Minabi and about whether she can be multiple elements. Now we'll also be going over to the written guide for Minabi on Mabilitics because most of us are wondering how is she going to be Ice Anomaly. So the first question is, when is Minabi going to be released? By the history of the popular characters for Zeno Zero, it is likely Minabi will be on the second half of the banner, which is going to be around 18th of December. And this will last all the way to the next year, 2025. And the bigger question is, what, what element is Minabi? And you no, know, right now, because we're looking at the symbols, it looks like somewhat like similar to eyes, but this symbol in the teaser, as you can see over here, so it is on this particular side where my mouse is. You can see that this particular symbol is not really showing eyes. And people are speculating that maybe she can be multiple elements or maybe she can deal multiple elements of damage. And one of the biggest speculation for her is that she can deal ice damage together with fire damage, very similar to lighter in Patrol by 3. Now coming from the previous beta notes, Minabi is supposed to be an ice element in the previous beta. And because she's going to be an anomaly character, we're going to briefly have a look at anatomy synergies with the ice team composition. Now, of course, guys, if you do want to read more on Minabi and also uh, Harumasa, I'll have the written guide available for you guys in the links below. Now, one of the considerations for Ice Anomaly is that usually Ice Anomaly will have a lower multiply in the game compared to physical or compared to other Anomaly damage. And Ice Anomaly will actually help to boost the critical damage taken by enemies. This is something we want to consider when we make team compositions for Nemanabi, and this allows her to potentially go with team compositions that is attacker and also stunners, and she can be somewhat a supporting character to enhance any team's damage because of this. So what you can take from the first part is, we're not 100% sure Manabi is going to be an Ice and Amelie character, but by the looks of it, she can deal Ice plus another elemental damage, and she can trigger multiple anomaly damage, and she can be great on multiple teams. And this is why she's going to be a very popular character, and a lot of us are saving a lot of polychromes for her in 1.4. So now coming over to the potential Manabi teams. And here we can see the fraction of characters and also where I got my icons from, from the Zenless Zone Zero fandom wiki. So over here you can see those list of characters will be in the same fraction. And other than Hiromasa, I do believe any characters like Sokaku and also Yanagi can work with Minabi. So one of the direct teams we can have is coming from those three characters, Minabi, Sokaku and also Yanagi. Now, you might be wondering, how does Yanagi work with Minabi? It's because she can trigger additional disorder procs, which enables the team to do even higher damage, together with additional damage booster with ice damage. Now, because it's likely Minabi can deal additional fire damage, a lot of the team composition that come from patch 1.3, like Brynes, Caesar, and also Lighter, can work with Minabi. And one of the more meta comps, or one of the popular comps among the community, it's going to be Lighter, who can boost both Ice and also Fire damage, Burness for the Fire Anomaly, and also Minabi for the Ice Anomaly, together with possibility of Fire Anomaly. So this team is going to be one of the strongest duo compositions that can deal tremendous damage for both elements. So both Fire and also Ice damage will be amazing over here. Now for the cases that you guys don't have Lighter, or for the cases you guys don't have Burners, Lucy can be a good substitute, and you can go with Burners, Lucy, or Manabi, or you can go with Lighter, Lucy, or Manabi. 
Now we have mentioned about the possibility of running Manabi in the attacker conversations, and during the trailers for patch 1.3, you have seen Lighter joining Allen and also Lycan in terms of the attacker conversations, and this will be very similar for Minabi. So Allen, Lycan, Minabi can be a good composition because she can boost a lot of ice damage, trigger ice anomaly that allows the team to deal increased critical damage as mount enemies. And this will really enhance the attacker composition that runs critical damage and also critical rates. So similarly, you can go with Allen, Lighter, and also Minabi, which will allow you to have some of the strongest attacker and also stunner teams. Now that we had a look at a lot of the limited banner characters, it is possible to go with some of the standard banner and also more free to play team compositions. You can have Kalita as the stunner, or you can have Soldier 11 as the attacker, together with Noko as a possible supporting character. Minabi can work over here because triggering Ice Anomaly will enable those characters to deal even higher damage, and herself can also potentially deal fire damage for the team. Nakao is over here not because of the ether element, but rather she can group enemies together to allow you to speed farm a lot of the content. Now, finally, we have characters like Caesar and also Seth can go well with Minabi. Seth can provide a shield and also Seth can add towards the anomaly mastery towards the team of characters. Caesar is just great all round character. She's great in the tower content, she's great in any content, and her boost of damage for any character is very welcome. Now, of course, guys, there's also two characters we haven't mentioned. Reyna can boost the team's electric damage and also penetration. Together with chances of proccing additional disorder with Jen and also increasing the critical damage enemy taken because of Manabi's ice element, this can also be a possible team composition should we want to try this once she becomes available in 1.4. Now over here, I didn't list out the exact team composition of characters, but you can see how you can take and also mix of those characters. The major focus will be coming from ice damage, coming from anomaly damage, and also coming from fire damage. So Minabi is definitely going to be a character that can enjoy or double dips in multiple elements, and also can be in some of the strongest anomaly team compositions, and also some of the strongest attacker team compositions. Now, the other character of focus for patch 1.4 is gonna be Asaba Harumasa. Now, this particular character, well, he is more straightforward. He's gonna be an attacker character that is electric element. So, coming from the knowledge that he's gonna be attacking electric character, people are speculating that it's possible Harumasa will have different range attack and also melee attack stance. Very similar to Yanagi that have multiple stances, and also character seems to have a versatility in those team compositions. And all the character coming from the special operation section 6 seems to have a special feature that allows them to swap different stances or maybe different elements. So keep that in mind. Now for Harimusa, because he's going to be an attacker, he ideally wants at least one stunning character or characters that will enhance his electric damage. One of the first characters we can think of is going to be Yanagi. Now, Yanagi wants to stay on the field. That means it is highly likely Harumusa may be an off-field attacker, or he doesn't have to stay on the field too much. And this same idea also goes along with Qing Yi. Qing Yi wants to stay on the field so she can stun and also amplify the damage for the whole team. And if Harumusa is going to be a more off-field and also spellcasting DPS attacker, then this fits perfectly with Yanagi and also Qing Yi. Now, other characters of choice will be Reyna and also Grace. Reyna will allow us to do additional electric damage, and also Grace allows us to build up even high anomaly damage. Together with the penetration coming from Reyna, this can be a very powerful team composition, and this might boost the ranking of Reyna for patch 1.4. Now, briefly going through some of the other characters that can work well with Harumisa. Right away, we have Caesar. Caesar works in any character team compositions, and Caesar's shield is very, very variable. Other than that, we do have two more standard banner S rank stunners like Lycan and also Kalida. Both of those characters are not going to be ideal for Harumusa because they're not buffing his electric damage. But should you want the stunning characters, those characters can still work. And finally, the free to play version of the stunning characters will be MB. And this, I guess, is the last choice if you really want someone that can stun enemies to bring them into the stagger mode to deal even higher damage. Now you can see that Harmus's choices is a little less, or actually a lot less, compared to Minabi. 
and you can see that we have had so many team compositions for Minavi. Now this is because that his particular role is going to be attacking character, and this also limits his abilities to contribute to other team compositions. But once we have more details on his abilities, if he can be a quick swap character, we can even have him as one of the electric supporting characters, and that can potentially allow him to go with anemone team compositions, which will stay tuned for patch 1.4 livestream. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about those team compositions for those 1.4 characters? And of course, which of the characters would you be going for, and would you be summoning for both of the characters? We'll be having a pool to see you know, how the popularity of 1.3 and also 1.4 characters goes. And I'm pretty sure 90% of us will be going for Minabi because she seems to be very powerful for any attacking and also anomaly team compositions.